Hey friends, it's time for another Sunday School with Miss Vicki. You'll notice something's missing behind me. What don't I have? I don't have my flannel graph, but I have somebody very special with me today. I have my sister, Karen. Karen is visiting us today in a different country. She's visiting us from the country of Japan. So if you think about where we live and go like halfway around the world, she's on the other side. So hey, Karen, welcome to Sunday School with Miss Vicki. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad to be here. I'm so glad you could be here too. So just so the kids know, if they're watching this at um, like nine o'clock in the morning on a Sunday, what time is it there in Japan? Your 9 a.m. Sunday morning is my 10 p.m. Sunday night. So bedtime. Yep. Past everyone's bedtime. <laughs> So if you're watching this on a Sunday morning, it's already tomorrow night <laughs> where Karen lives. So I wanna ask Karen to come on today to talk to us about being a missionary because that's what she does there. She left uh, her hometown in Minnesota and she um, went to Japan to be a missionary. And we've been talking about a very special missionary in the Bible named Paul. Um, and we learned about Paul's amazing conversion from being uh, an enemy of God to being God's number one fan. Can you tell us a little bit about your testimony? Yeah, and actually I'm so excited you guys are learning about Paul because I love Paul. And so um, for me, I grew up going to church every Sunday, went to Sunday school, I did Wednesday night youth program. So we had Awana and Sparkies and youth group. And when I was about five, I prayed to accept Christ into my life. But my life really didn't change. It still kind of stayed the same. Um, but when I was about 15, I went to summer camp. And it was then that I realized that God loved me and that God wanted to know me personally. And so, and God also wanted me to know him personally. And so it wasn't until I was about 15 did I really start wanting to, to learn more about God on my own and really want to know what his word said and really want to follow him and be like him. That's great. So um, how did you become a missionary? Was it something you'd always wanted to do when you were a kid or, you know, what kind of training did you have to go through to do this? Yeah. When I was a kid, I, I had missionaries that would come to church and I, I remember thinking like, oh, that's so cool. But it's so cool that they're a missionary, but I'll never be a missionary. I'll just grow up, probably stay in Minnesota, have some sort of job. But it wasn't until I was in college and I was praying about what should I do after I graduate college because I realized God had given me a passion for Japan and for youth ministry and for camping and for missions but I didn't know what I was going to do after I graduated. So I was praying about it and just, okay, God, where do you want me to go after I graduate? And it was like, well, I could go to Japan and teach English, but that's not camping. And I could stay in America and work at a camp, but it's not Japan. And then it was, oh, I could go to Japan as a missionary and work with youth in a camp context and be a missionary, like what? And it was like, okay, God, I get the hint. And so prayed about that, had peace about it and started the application process to become a missionary in Japan, working at a camp. That's fantastic. Did you, did you know Japanese before you went to Japan? I knew zero Japanese. <laughs> Before I left for Japan, which God has still used, <laughs> used during this time. And I've been able to study Japanese while living here. So my first two years living here, I studied Japanese full time. So I do know Japanese now. That's great. Um, in Paul's adventures, he found a lot of angry people, um, a lot of people who wanted to do really bad things to him because he was preaching about Jesus Christ. Have you found telling people about Jesus dangerous or scary at all? Um, I, in Japan, we, I can openly be a missionary here and tell people I'm a missionary and I won't get into any legal trouble or like trouble with the police. 
it's okay for me to do that. And at least here, I, it's not been dangerous for me in Japan. However, when I've visited other countries, um, I, it just has to be a secret that I'm a missionary. It has to be a secret that I'm a Christian. And if I'm visiting other friends who are doing that kind of work in those countries, it's actually very dangerous for them uh, to do that. And they can, they can go to jail for it. They can get kicked out of the country and their kids can sometimes get um, taken by the police and talked to, to see what they're doing in those countries. But for me here in Japan, telling people about Jesus isn't a dangerous thing. It's not a scary thing. Um, the, the worst reaction that I've maybe had, or maybe the most negative, is just people will tell, tell, tell us like, oh, that's good for you, but it's not what I want. But yes, so here in Japan, it's not a dangerous thing. That's great. That's exciting to hear. Um, why do you think being a missionary is an important job? That's a very good question. Being a missionary is an, is an important job. And the, the main purpose of a missionary is to share about Jesus with other people. And you don't have to be a missionary to do that, but missionaries primary job is to do just that. And people need to hear about God. But in Japan, less than 1% of the population is Christian. And that's not a lot of people. And so they just need more people to tell other people about God here. Because if someone doesn't tell them, how will they know about God? So it's a very important thing for them to have someone who can tell them about God and that can give them the opportunity to become a Christian. That's great. It's an important job to do. Um, and we know that you work really far from the U.S., um, but not everyone has to travel really far to be a missionary. What would you think is something that kids could do here in the United States to be a missionary right here at home? Yeah. There are lots of things you can do to be a missionary right where you're at. You can pray. Prayer is very important and very powerful. Think about the people you have in your life. Who, who do you know that doesn't know Jesus? You can pray for those people. And you can learn more about God and his word. So going to Sunday school is great. If you have any other programs or, that you can attend at church, those are also really helpful. If you have a Bible at home, you can read his Bible. You can listen to worship music. Learning about God and his word is very important because it also helps you to tell people, uh, explain to other people who God is and what, he, what he's about. And also tell your friends, your family, your neighbors, tell them about Jesus because they also need to know about Jesus. And if no one tells them, how will they know? And be kind to one another because it shows God's love and God's love is really important. And as someone who is a Christ follower, you want others to know Christ. And one way to do that is through the way you love each other. That's awesome. Those are really good tips. And I don't think they're just for kids either. I think those are good tips for, for teenagers, for moms and dads, for grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles. So I want to thank you for taking some time with us today. When I end my Sunday school lesson, I always tell the kids a couple of things. And I was wondering if you could share with us in Japanese what I'm saying back. So I always tell the kids three things. I tell them, God made you. How would you say that in Japanese? God loves you. And God has a plan for your life. Awesome. Thanks, Karen. Thanks, friends. We'll see you next time. Thank you.